and this is the view of the thermal application itself and uh, you can see the version number so currently it is available in the stable build uh, it is uh, 0.0.1 so this is the first stable uh, version release uh, and uh, so this is just a uh, uh, just a uh, a page uh, when you uh, install the application for the first time uh, you might see this view but it's not actually the repositories uh, it's just a, a dummy page but of course you can add repositories uh, you can just click the button uh, you can type the parts manually or you can click this button and it will open a, a, a folder picker uh, you can pick the folder or my favorite feature is to just drag and drop the folders so I'll just uh, show you that real quick <laughs> and uh, I just I can even you know uh, drag multiple folders at once. So I, I have you can see I have selected uh, just a second. Okay, so you can see I have selected five folders uh, and I just quickly drop them and you can see uh, it has uh, shown all those five folders over here. But actually we don't need these folders. Uh, I'll just open the thermal uh, repository. So now I'm dragging the thermal repository and here it is and I will open the thermal repository itself so it will fetch all the uh, all the commits history and all the stuff uh, but I think there is no uh, commits right now so it is not showing any commits uh, I mean uh, there are no changes right now what I meant by that you can even see over here yeah you can see over here there are uh, zero changes so that's why uh, but since we are in the git init uh, repository so it is uh, showing that and uh, in the history it will show all the all the changes you have made uh, so currently it will fetch all the uh, all the history uh, it will fetch all the uh, history at once uh, i need to improve that feature also that uh, we can implement lazy load and all the stuff uh, it's uh, already in the in the roadmap and uh, we will build those features in later stages uh, but as you can see uh, all this uh, list of all well, there i mean more than uh, 400 commits in this list and the list is really long uh, i think mean, you you will really not believe that it's uh, like in the state in the early access i mean it's uh, obviously stable uh, it's available for stable uh, but uh, it's already cost 400 commits and it's insane uh, yeah you can even uh, click on a specific uh, commit and see uh, the detail of the commit uh, the name of the author uh, the email address and uh, some information of I mean the title mm -hmm. and the name of the author and all the stuff and, and there is the, this is the interesting part over here so over here you can see the ref the, the commit hash the tree hash and the parent hash and even the uh, file changes um, so, I mean the list of file changes so if you can if you click on a specific file uh, you will see the the changes of the specific file uh, i know it's not uh, that much interesting right now it doesn't look much fancy but uh, this feature is also under roadmap and we are currently working on this feature also so don't worry about that uh, and of course we have this pull push and fetch options also and of course uh, when you click this button it will uh, redirect to the this workspace page itself and you can open the terminal uh, explorer and setting also so this is a page where it gets more interesting that uh, you can just rename it so this rename is only for the application itself it doesn't rename your your folder itself so um, you can just, uh, just just for reference that uh, what you want to uh, name it uh, and this is the, the directory path and this is the remote URL so it automatically fetch the remote URL when you add the repository and below this so this is the part uh, which you can control uh, specific to the repository uh, maybe you have added a repository uh, and you don't want to uh, uh, commit uh, commit changes uh, it is just for reference or just for you know uh, you want to watch a repository that uh, what's happening inside the repository so in that case so there's uh, something happen that you accidentally um, commit a changes i don't know maybe uh, there can be a use um, uh, there can be a use case for that also that accidentally uh, we can just commit a change so just to avoid those things uh, we have added the option to just disable the commits 
so that's way uh, we have disabled the commits and now you can no longer commit the changes so you can see that box is uh, gone now and uh, if you uh, want to toggle back uh, you have to just go to the settings again yeah, and you can toggle back again and say go for the remote uh, in the remote you can uh, like disable push uh, pull and fetch all at once so you can see that it's disabled right now and there are a few other things like uh, there are settings for the application itself uh, like you can uh, add the name uh, so it's a profile that uh, you know uh, when you commit changes uh, like what uh, data do you want to uh, show over there so we haven't linked it with the git yet uh, that feature has to be implemented but uh, you, right now you can just save those things uh, in the application itself for future reference so i will enter my email address over here and uh, let me just get the image of myself from the internet okay let me show you my browser also okay uh, okay found the image so i'll just paste the image and it will load the image and show up over here see awesome uh, and there are experimental features also so this is a separate uh, section uh, where um, we sometimes add uh, experimental features in a stable build so that you can uh, try those features out uh, and give us feedback like how it's working or if you don't want to use that feature you can just disable that so this is a toggle option which is a very helpful uh, and if you want to learn more about the specific feature like what it does or how it affects the application once you uh, toggle it so it's a handy way to learn more about the specific feature and uh, if you want to also give feedback for the application not specifically for the experimental feature but in general so you can join our discord server uh, so the link is available over here or it is also available on the welcome page um, over here so you can click this icon uh, it will redirect you to the, to the invite url uh, so we welcome you to join our discord server and give your feedback or just chit chat over there or you can just uh, say me hi on the discord server also and there is this uh, uh, information page uh, where you see all the information regarding the application like which version on it is or which environment it is or the operating system and all the stuff it will show all the information over here so maybe you are uh, reporting any bug report uh, so in that case it's very helpful just to share this image so that we, uh, we could understand like on what operating system you are facing these issues and yeah now i will just uh, give you a uh, more that uh, intro about the application itself like how you can commit the changes so what i will do i will quickly create a, a new folder uh, on my machine and uh, let me just create a folder and i will also initialize the git repository since uh, we are already working on that feature right now okay let me just show you that so i have opened the the I have created a new folder over here and I haven't, uh, you can see I haven't initialized the repository but uh, okay so you can see like wait a second something is wrong but uh, I haven't uh, initialized the repository yet wait a second and let me create a new repository over here I mean new directory that was weird okay so I'll uh, what, why it's moving over okay so i have created an empty you can see it's showing empty folder so i will just uh, for a reference i will rename it to the git test and then uh, i will open git bash sorry for the background noise okay now if i do that again what the hell I don't know why it's showing that but uh, like trust me I haven't uh, initialized the git report git in it yet so I'll do it right now and now you can see it has been initialized and if I run git status again so you can see now it is showing no commits yet now it's a fresh repository and we have initialized git so what's the best part is to just drag and drop the repository over here like this 
and if we just quickly go to settings you can see there is no remote url as obvious and the path and all the stuff and all the settings and even the workspace will also be empty and of course there will be no commits over here also so it is a quiz from the previous uh, workspace wait a second that's a whole new bug Oh my god. So this is the quit uh, from the previous uh, from thermal application. We need to fix that also. It moves the bug. But um, uh, it's an empty repository, so you can see if we if I open terminal. So uh, you can see I just click this button and it has opened the, the terminal in the current working directory. And if I do git log so you can see it is showing there is no uh, so it is showing there is no commits in the current uh, working directory that's obvious so what i will do i will quickly create new files so i will open it in, inside a code editor so i click this button and it should open a text editor for me Okay, great. So it has opened the Visual Studio Code. Uh, so right now it just uh, right now we haven't added the option to customize this uh, the selection of the text editor, uh, but we will uh, also add that option where you can manually select your preferred text editor, and you can change that also in the, your settings also. So you can see uh, we have opened the text editor directly from the application and okay we will just create new folder sorry create, uh, create new files and make some changes so i'll uh, create a markdown file over here and i will also create a okay so i have created a heading uh, like this i mean i have added a text over here and we have also saved the file i'll also create a new file so this file will be empty so if we just go back to the application so you can see that these are the two files and i can just commit the files over here uh, committing hi file okay let's see Okay, great. So you can see uh, uh, that commit has been made, and uh, so if we just go back to the history now, it should show the the commit we have we have made. Okay, great. So you can see the commit we have made and all the information related to that commit, and also the the file over here. So if we click that file, so you can oh wait. Okay, now it's showing the data from the previous. Oh, that's weird. That's really weird. Oh my god. Okay, here yeah, we found a new bug. Let me quickly create a screen take a screenshot of this also. This was not supposed to happen. Great. Uh, but uh, you can see that uh, we have made a commit and uh, we can even uh, see the detail of everything and the name of the author and all the stuff and also uh, we can even publish the changes so what we can do i will quickly create a, a new repository uh, on my account on on you can create your repository anywhere a remote repository on github gitlab or bitbucket it's up to you uh, so i'll just create a new repository real quick Okay, so it will be git test. Oh, that's weird. Okay, we can make it git test one or maybe two. Okay, perfect. So I will just make it private for now and create a new repository. 
and then I will just copy I will just copy the this URL the remote URL and so there is this option uh, this button called public I'm mean, sorry publish so after that I will just paste the URL over here and then click this publish button so what it will do it will uh, publish uh, uh, it will publish the, your repository to the, to the remote repository and it will push those all the changes uh, to the remote repository itself so let's see if it worked okay okay it worked uh, you can see uh, uh, all this everything will be same but uh, it has now showing this these things uh, earlier it was only showing publish now you can see it is showing pull push fetch and i think it should also update the remote url okay so it is also updating the remote url and if we go back to the uh, if we go back to the repository also uh, let me just refresh Okay, great. So you can see it is showing it over here that this is a file uh, which has been committed three minutes ago. So it's working perfectly. And yeah, and we can even commit this file also. Uh, uh, maybe new and empty file, and we can commit to master, and voila. So it will be shown over here. You can see. I need to still that bug uh, no it's not right okay so we need just really to fix that bug mm. okay but so what we can do now since uh, the commit we have made recently this one is not uh, in the remote url uh, we can just quickly check that also so you can see it's still not over here uh, you can even see this list now what we will do, we will publish those uh, changes and we will push those changes to the remote uh, repository. So I will just click this button. Uh, I know that uh, right now there is no, uh, you know, uh, you know uh, some kind of an indication that uh, that there is any progress between the connection between the remote repository and the local repository. Uh, I know uh, we are still thinking the way how we should uh, show that from a design perspective that maybe we, you know, uh, like how we show the progress that something is happening in the background so we are still thinking about that uh, but uh, I think uh, it must have pushed the changes to the remote repository if we just maybe check again so you can see over here now it, is, it has also uh, pushed the new file to the remote repository also and is over here uh, it should be empty as obvious yeah so, so this was just a, a brief overview of the thermal application. I hope you have liked it. And of course, we are uh, continuously uh, developing this application and make it more better. Even though it's just a, uh, we are just getting started with the application and there's those features. And of course, uh, there are a few bugs also. Uh, so I hope you have liked this application. And I would also love you to uh, just download the application and give it a try. And let us know what you think about the application and give us feedback. And also, you should definitely join our Discord server. Um, we have an awesome community. Even uh, we are still growing the we are still growing the community in the Discord. Uh, but you are most welcome to join it. Uh, so you can just click this icon. It will open the, the invite URL. So you can just join, and you are all most welcome. Thank you. Thank you very much. And of course, you can download the application, the thermal application, uh, for free. It is available on our website. Uh, it's thermal.netlify.com uh, okay so this is the website uh, and you can just click this uh, big button over here what's not loading okay so once you download it uh, you can see over here this is the, st uh, the first table version which has been released recently and you can just click it over here and you can see it is available for windows and linux so you can just click over here if you want to download in exe format or zip file for linux or uh, deb format so it's totally up to you and of course uh, when we have released this uh, stable version uh, we have also made the source code open source and the source code is also available on gitlab so you are most welcome to uh, make your contribution to the project uh, yeah and so this is the the source code of the project itself and it's open source 
so yeah we are really excited uh, to hear from you and give it a try and let us know what you think yeah thank you